Hey there everyone, my name is JW and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, I have to mention the Tankyard slash Discord server. Are you interested in receiving a shout out at the start of a video? Well, look no further. Join the Discord server and find the Tankyard section on the Discord server and enter either your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch Gamer Tag and you'll be entered into the Tankyard with these lovely other folks and be a part of the Tanker Yard family. Come join, we love new people. But with all that said, let's get into today's tutorial. Today, we will be building this, the Schneider CA-1 French World War I tank. It's an oddball, but it's a goodie. So let's get right into it. So we're going to head down to France and build ourselves a tank. All the way down, all the way down. And nap these boxes on the way. Okay, here we are, Schneider CA-1. Let's get into it. So today you'll be starting with Paul Shainer State. Stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, stone slabs, stone stairs, green concrete, andesite wall, block of iron, and then our camel colors today will be yellow concrete, cyan concrete, and light gray concrete. All right, now let's get started. We're gonna start right here with one block. Skip one, then one, two, three, skip one, then one. Then skip three, one, skip one, one, two, three, skip one, one. There we go. Next, we're gonna put slabs down. One, two, three, four. Just like that, and then we're gonna do upside down stairs. One two three four and now if i'm going too fast for you remember you can always pause rewatch rewind and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome little tank into your world it's not really really little but ah it's a good tank all right let's continue so we're gonna put a stone stair there let's stone brick stair there and there next we're gonna put stone brick stair there and a stone brick stair there then we're gonna do slabs so we're gonna do one two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Trek section is complete. You may now get rid of these materials on the right. So next, we're going to switch to our stone slabs. So we're going to come to the front and do one, two, three, and one. Then we're going to come to the back and fill in the floor of the vehicle. There we go. And extend by one. There we go. Next, we're going to put upside down stone stairs here. And here, now you can use placeholders if you need to. I didn't, so we're gonna do a green concrete there and bring it all the way up to the front. And bring it up and then around. We're gonna leave that open. On the front here, we're gonna actually extend it one more time and by one. Then on all these, we're gonna put upside down stone stairs on all of these, just like that. All right. So that's the bottom part. Next, we're gonna come right here and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. There we go, then we're gonna put a stone stair this way, and then this way, and then one, two, three. Make sure you twist the front ones, and a stone stair there. All right, all right, so next we're gonna put a stone slab here with a stone stair there. And then this entire section gets one, two, three, and one. And then here, it's just gonna fill in to right there, and then one, and one. So in here's gonna be your fighting compartment. Looks good, looks nice. All right, so next, we're gonna put some placeholders down. I'm gonna use the iron blocks as placeholders. We're gonna put one there, then I have an upside down stone stair there, and then reverse upside down stone stair. So you can get that shape. Then one more placeholder and another upside down stone stair. Just like so. Then on top of that, we're gonna put a stone slab. Like that. Next, we're gonna put another layer of uh, blocks. In fact, we're gonna come over that area. And then stone slabs right there. And now you have your doorway right there. And you put one, two, three, four of the andesite wall there. Next, we're gonna put a placeholder slab, bring it over. Actually, no, that can stay. So we're gonna bring this all the way up to here and remove that block there. And then you can just fill in the roof. Now the armament 
goes right here of a little 75. It's kind of awkwardly placed on the side. You got nothing really projecting firepower out that way. So it was an oddball design. All right, so coming right here, we're gonna remove this slab and put a slab right there. And the same is gonna go for right here. So they're offset of one another. And then we're gonna put an upside down stone stair there. Upside down stone stair there. All right, and that should do it for the main body of the Schneider. So we can, rem oh wait, we needed that iron block. There's a reason why I grabbed it, right here. We're gonna put it right there. And now we can grab the camo colors. So let's grab our yellow, cyan, and light gray. And then you can just go out wherever you want to and just kind of go crazy with the camo colors. If you break a block, replace it. Just go everywhere if you can. Just have fun with this. Have fun camoing it up. go just throw colors everywhere and we could put another yellow right there and right there all right that should do it we're gonna just put another sign on there and yeah right there there we go now we can get into cosmetic materials so next we're gonna grab iron trap door Spruce trap door, spruce door, green banner, and rod, green carpet, iron bars, flower pot, and a spruce sign. All right, so starting off with the spruce door, which is simple, right in the back, and boom. There we go, your green banners. One's going to go here, and then two on that side, right? Right. Right here. There we go. Your end rods are going to go here. And here is machine guns. Next, your iron bars. One is going to go right here. And two back here. Next, we're going to grab our green carpet and put two right here. Very simple. Next, our spruce trap doors. One's going to go there. One above the viewport. One on the hatch right there. Right there. And then one down here, right there. All right, next we're gonna put four right here and four on the other side. There we go, put two right there, one right there. Now we're gonna have to switch to our iron trap doors and put them all over the front here and put one spruce trap door right at the front. Come underneath and you're gonna put two more iron trap doors and then one, two, one, two, and one, two, three. On this side, you can just go all the way up. There we go, on the back, like so. And one hanging off the side. And that should do it for that. Your flower pot, one's gonna go here, and one's gonna go here. Next, your Spruce signs are going to go along the tracks right here. There we go. And right here. And there we go. And then our last materials will be polished blackstone button and dark oak wood button. Dark oak wood buttons are going to go on the road wheels and on top of the iron block. In fact, we can grab signs again real quick and surround this iron block with a wooden sign yes and then back here there we go and then for the blackstone buttons just place them on any flat surface you can find there we go And I think that is it. 
Yes, you have successfully completed the Schneider CA-1 French World War One tank. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I would love a new addition of my Linda Bob wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Like and subscribing and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. And speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description. Come join. Come be one with us. Come be a tanker in the tanker yard. If that sounds good, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>